I am here. This is Madeline from Madeline's Craft Room. And tonight we get a sneak peek of one of the new products in our brand new upcoming mini catalog. Oh my goodness. This one was very impressive to me. I love anything with the ocean. And I love that there is this beautiful sand dollar and starfish, the turtles. And so we're going to take a peek at this. So let me just change this over here. If you are watching me on the um, live, then please participate with me. Make sure that you add your name so that I know that you are uh, here because then you get entered in the draw. And then if you uh, are watching the replay, um, please leave your comment as well as I can add you to the draw as long as you're in Canada. And I am actually from Parksville, Vancouver Island. So hence why I love the ocean. So <clears throat> this is the one we're going to have some fun with here tonight. I have been practicing and there's the foam strips I was looking for. So here are some of the things that I've been busy cutting out. What is really beautiful about this stamp set is that it is a reversible. And if you have never seen a reversible stamp, what that means is that when you look at the stamp, there are actually two sides to this stamp. So you have the side that has the detail and then you have just the flat surface on the other side. And so that's what all these stamps are. So again, wonderful opportunities that you can do with these. And I love how they have a little starfish and a bigger starfish, big turtle and a little turtle and even a school of fish and bubbles. There's so many things. So I'm going to show you this stamp set with the big turtle. And when you look at results, this is what it looks like when you take the stamp. I'll just do one so we can see. I might need my bigger one. Yes. So we're going to need the bigger block me just grab that one over here so we need the bigger one because it is definitely too big for the size d block so what we're going to start off with is we are going to which way we're going to go we're going to go the smooth so the details on the bottom we're going to stick the detail part onto the actual block oh somebody is there I've got to turn it so I can see the comments. I think somebody's saying hello. Somebody loves the ocean like me. <laughs> so here we go. So what we're going to do is, we're in uh, this case, I'm going to take the Pacific point instead of the green turtle. And we're going to just stamp this image. And so as you can see, it's going to do the whole solid image of the turtle. So just like that. And I looked it up. There are definitely some turtles that are blue and even a little bit of purpley as well and green and then brown. So I thought, okay, I can do blue. I want to try blue. So here's the big one. What we're going to do is we are going to stamp that right onto here. So we put this, it's Leanne. Hi, Leanne. So we stamp this on here and we're going to pull it off. So you see, we have the bold image of the turtle. Now, the difference is if we take that and we then stamp off. So here now we're going to stamp the second generation. So let's move it up so you can see it a little bit more. And now I'm going to lift it. So you can see this, of course, is much darker than this. And this is going to be the same idea here. Oops, I'll just reverse this. 
This was stamped directly and this green one I stamped off. So now what we need to do, and I realize I don't have my stamp cleaner here. Ah. Okay. Oops. It's, um, where is it? Hang on. I got to go around my light here. Hang on. Oh, I thought I had everything. It's been a crazy day. Okay. So we're going to clean off the stamp. And then we're going to flip it over to the detail part. So the detail part is showing. Okay. So just like that. And now we're going to do the same thing. Oh, except for our stamp is sticking. Good suction. Isn't that nice detail that they put on that turtle? I just love that. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to put it on top of the detail on the solid. And because they're the same color on the same color, there won't be a big difference. Now you probably could stamp a darker blue on there too, but you see how it still shows. It's actually quite pretty, just like that. And then, of course, we're going to do it on this one, and we'll see what it looks like. So I'm demonstrating this one with the big turtle. I have a special card we're going to make tonight. While I was doing my errands and driving today, I got a great idea. So we're going to do that here tonight. Do you find you think of card ideas in the strangest places? <laughs> yep, I do. So there we have the difference. So we have the dark version and the lighter version. And just like here, we have the dark green and then we have the lighter green. So you can see they both are very nice. But again, just kind of depending on which one you prefer or what you're making. So we're just going to clean this up here again. And now I am going to show you some of the other stamps before we make our card. So this is the turtles, the big turtles. I'm going to put that down there. Put this guy back in here and then what we're going to do is take out the starfish and the sand dollar and you're going to love this because it is really super cool now I didn't bring my other stamps so I am just going to use my little spots going to use let's see what color should we use um, hmm. we could try some, um, soft suede and I guess that's the one I'm going to have to use I thought I had a crumb cake but we're going to try soft suede now we need a block okay so we're going to put the sand dollar on a block boy Beautiful. Ever since a kid, I always loved looking at everything on the beach. You like the lighter one? Yes, it definitely has much uh, more detail, doesn't it? And my light is turning off. Oh my goodness. We're having... A light that's not going to work tonight. Oh, it's going to flash on us. <laughs> oh, bizarre. Okay, we'll see how long that one lasts. Okay, so here we have, and you can see already quite the detail that's on there. So Leanne, I wonder if you're going to like the lighter one on the sand dollar. So here is the starfish. Now we're going to flip it around. Oops, I guess I should clean that a little bit. Oh, we're going to have light issues tonight. 
Okay, let's try one more light. Otherwise, we're going to be in the dark here. Doesn't seem to be doing it, does it? Oh. No, it does not want to. Well, oh, sorry there, folks. I don't know why it's being stubborn tonight. That has never done that before. Hmm. Well, let's see how long it stays this time. <laughs> okay, so now we've got the solid piece. We want to put that on. So now you can see it's just one big brown blob. So the difference again here, and now you're going to center that right inside. So, so that one went really, nope, that one did not work. So we're going to do this right away. So I guess it depends on the color. Obviously, this color must be too dark. So what we're going to do is stamp off and then onto our picture. Well, not a picture, my paper. Oh, there's somebody else joining us, Yvonne from far, far away. Hello, Yvonne. So glad you could join us. Do they have sea turtles in Mexico where you are, Yvonne? I bet you they do. Yes. This stamp set. Oh, there is somebody else on here, is there? You'll have to put your name because I do not see, it says Facebook user. So be sure to let me know because if I'm going to enter you in the draw, then that way you can uh, be entered in the draw. And Wendy, I have to send you one from last month. Okay, so now we're going to put this on here. So there we go. And now I'm going to show you what the next one is my absolute favorite. They're all beautiful, but I guess because I have a weakness for sand dollars anyway, I'm going to show you what's really cool about this sand dollar. So what we're going to do, is actually I'm going to start with the lighter or the solid base. And because it's a dark color, we don't want it this dark really should be using my crumb cake but we're going to stamp off and then go on to our paper just like that and then we'll clean up our stamp and flip it around that's why they call these reversible Yvonne oh photos of turtles and eggs ooh that's pretty special. Nice. Yeah, they, that's lots of babies when the babies are there, hey? Okay, so now we're going to take this, and I'm only going to do it really dark, or very light, because I have a feeling this color just might be too dark. But I went off. I did, didn't match. But look at the beautiful design. Isn't that incredible? So I'm going to show you what it looks like with the crumb cake. So crumb cake, these are the results. So can you see them if I put them down? Probably not. I have to go closer, too close. There. Can you see it there? Isn't that ever cool? So these are all the sand dollars. This here are the starfish. Isn't that amazing, the detail that's on the starfish? Beautiful. So I did a whole bunch of big starfish, little starfish, some more sand dollars. And I also did one little turtle. Isn't he ever cute? And so I decided we're going to make a shaker cart. But we're going to use these little guys. So I think we should make one more blue one. So I'm going to show you how the little blue one works. So let's see. We'll put, does he fit on this one? Nope, not quite. So we'll need a bigger block. 
then I think I used Starry Sky. I haven't been out of turtle release this year. Oh, yes. Oh, I bet you that would be amazing to watch, Yvonne. That would be really cool. Wow. Oh, you don't need to enter the draw? Well, we're, it must be Wendy. Welcome. <laughs> we always love to have you join us, Wendy. Perfect. All right. So we have the blue turtle. So let's put this here. And I'm going to stamp that full color on. So you can see if you use just that, that would look nice all by itself. But when you add, of course, the light blue to the background, then it just looks so beautiful. So this one we're going to have to, again, stamp off because it will be too dark, obviously. Looks like a purple one there when you look through the, <laughs> the block. Okay, and then we're going to go over here and put that on top. And now we have this gorgeous little turtle. Very cute. So with doing that now, the one thing, this is a stamp set only, no dies. So we do have to do some fussy cutting. <laughs> so, but it's actually quite simple, especially the sand dollars. Oh my goodness, it's just a little round circle. The little turtle is probably the hardest and you can see it's not that difficult to do. Baby turtles are black and gray. Oh, hi from Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Okay, well, that's good to know. Black and gray. So you'd have to, oh, I'm going to have quite a bright turtle then. Oh, well, in the pretend land, we can make it bright blue. But thank you. That's helpful to know to make it more realistic. Absolutely. Oh, no fussy cutting. Oh, I can just imagine that is from Leanne. <laughs> she does not like to do fussy cutting. Oh, dear. That's okay. I'm doing it tonight, Leanne. All right. We're just going to go around his head and around. Okay. Now we're almost done. I'm so glad they also have another ocean one called By the Bay, which I have. And you're going to see some beautiful new things that I'm going to make with the new year. So I'm so impressed that we got two nautical yoo-hoo in our new catalog. So let's see here. Okay. Now, oh, I can't see anymore. Okay. So now we've got two turtles. Oof. Now it doesn't want to close. We'll open this up. I'm going to dump. I don't know if we're going to use all those, but I thought I would just make a whole bunch. Now, with our stamp set here tonight, I thought it would also be nice to use the layering diorama. So we've got these two layers that I've taken from these nesting dies. And I have already cut it out. So we're going to use a card base. A standard card base. I have balmy blue as my color and we're actually going to go landscape with it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to make a shaker card. So I don't know if you can see there, we've got a window sheet, which I have to have the window sheet. And then we have a pond. Um, but I decided, I think I would rather have it so that we have... Uh, the white in the back. So I'm going to put the white behind here. So we're going to attach this piece to our card soon. And then that way we will have our piece of the diorama. Now I did run that through our beautiful seashells 3D folder. So you can't see a lot of the shells, but it gives you the sea 
weed. So it kind of has that look. And then inside, we're going to put our turtles and our starfish and sand dollars. So let's get busy. The first thing we're going to do is get this ready here for our window sheet. Now, this window sheet, what I find is if you use a Swiffer um, sheet and you just wipe um, on top of it, then it just helps to take away some of that static. Hey, Marsha, nice to see you. Hey, in winter wonderland over there in Alberta. Okay, so now we have the window sheet. It's all ready to roll. And, whoops, we've got our piece here. So what we want to do now is we're going to adhere this onto our piece. Now, I did make this exactly the same size as our front of our card. So it is exactly the same size. So that goes on there. And the window sheet I made just a little bit smaller. So it's the same size as my inside, which is four by five and a quarter. And so what we're going to do is we're going to adhere this onto here. So uh, I think I'm going to use tear and tape actually. So we want to have a good adhesive that's strong. And we're going to, I'm not going to worry about the lines yet because all I'm doing is attaching the um, window sheet. When we, uh, we have to do it a special way when we're adding, of course, the foam sheets. But right now we just want to add the window sheet to the front cover. So we're going to just put some adhesive on each side here to hold it down. Okay. Oops, don't get it over the edge. Don't want any of that peeking through. Let's see if I can trim this off of here now. One. Oops, that's not lifting. Ah. Okay. Hang on here. Now, I don't know what's going on, but it's not letting me see any more comments. And I don't know why. So I'm sorry if you're commenting and I can't see you. I will go back and answer any questions you've got. But, okay, we've got this ready. Now we're going to take our window sheet. What have we got on there? Just a piece of fluff. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. That's another reason I make it a little bit smaller because then it doesn't have to be exact. You just put it on because it's only the back side. So we're going to put that on there like that. Okay. So then now we are going to take our card and we are going to find my strips. So the new package comes like this. It's a long sheet. And I tend to kind of cut mine in half. And... You can see, that's why they're way down here. Okay. And now I've got some little bits from another project I was doing. But now they're in half. And now they're, you know, pretty much the size that you would need for making the cards. So I just find it a little bit easier to work with. And in this case, we are going to do some flexing around. So, yes, we could put the um, foam strips straight, but when you do that, what would happen, say our uh, starfish here, he would get trapped behind here and then you would never see it. So when I do a special um, uh, shaker card like this, I do tend to kind of take my strip and move not exactly and certainly not right on the edge, but close to it, because then they're not going to get trapped in one corner. So we're just going to 
put this now. Now this way you have to make sure that you are butting that up really close because if you even leave a little gap, if you were using um, any kind of sequins or anything small, then you would have an issue with it uh, going through the hole. So we're gonna press that down. Now we're gonna get another one. So again, I'm gonna butt that right up to that edge. And these foam strips can curve a fair bit. They don't like to be curved loads, but they do have some ability to curve. And now I just need maybe a little strip from over here. And then whatever, you kind of push it so that it's nice and tight. And then you can see we're gonna have a little bit overhang. So I'm just going to snip that off like that. And we'll put that on there. Okay, and then what I do is I just make sure I go all the way around just to make sure that it's all pressed down flat. Okay, and now we can peel this off. So a little hard to see where all our spots are, but if it's shiny, then it means that you've taken it off. So go all the way, I think that's the last one. It is. Okay, so now we are going to put our items inside. Now remember, this is the back side because this is the front. So when you put these ones in, you got to remember that you've got to put them upside down. So we're going to put the turtles in. Um, I don't want to put too many. I don't even know if I want to put big ones. Let's see. I think we're just going to put in small starfish. How many should we put in? Hmm. Let's see, at least three. Let's try putting in some sand dollars. And what do you think? Do you think we should use any um, sequins? I don't know, it looks pretty full already, actually. Mm, I don't want them to get bunched up either. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, maybe one more starfish. Let's try that. Okay, so yes, you could use sequins. Like I tend to really like these sequins that um, are in our annual catalog. Three or five. Yes, that's right. So we've got five. Yes. No, we got six now. Thank you. Oops, I didn't see that one. One, two, three, and five. Woo! Thank you for your reminder. <laughs> Okay, so in this one, of course, we're not going to use pink, but I love it how they have different colors. So this one here is a green. So if you were making a C that is the green, that could be a good one. Um, you could use this blue. So what do you think? Should you think we should use, yes, the sequence? Okay, we'll put some in there just to have a little bit of a glitter, hey? They're so sparkly. Can you see how beautiful those are? They've got some gold and some light blue. Actually, there's even some pearls in there too. Oh my goodness, I didn't notice that before. So you don't need lots. We're just putting them inside. We don't want any of these to go near the foam strips. We want to make sure that these are staying. And I'm trying to get it off of the big sea turtle. Okay. So we're going to put that there and I'm thinking maybe just one more little pinch and then that should be lots. You don't want to put too many. So there we got the sequence. Okay, so now we're getting ready. The only thing we need to do is now because our card has the um, foam strip around, we should have something on the edge so that it does not uh, cave in. So we're just going to take some more strips and let's see, we're going to put one here and we want to put it fairly close to the edge. I should turn it so I can see what I'm doing. So we're going to put one there and here we got a nice little piece that should work just good for here. Well, maybe even a little too much. Okay, well, we can trim trim that off. 
Yes, because there's nothing like a card that's going to sag. We don't want saggy cards. Not good. And I know that sometimes it's tempting to use dimensionals, but the dimensionals don't have the same height. The foam strip is a nice thick strip, so it gives you more space and uh, width um, so that you can have your sequins and whatever else you've got inside. So again, we're just going to, oops, and that we can't go any further, so we're gonna have to snip this off here. Okay, and then we're gonna go, which way? Go here. It doesn't have to be exactly because, whoa, my finger stuck, and look, you do not wanna have any sequins sticking into our foam strips. So just be careful. Obviously I wasn't. Okay, so then we got just maybe one little tiny piece. Where's my little pieces? Right here. Did we get them all? Oh, one well, maybe one more over here. Okay. Yes, Marilyn, it looks like. <laughs> yep. We know. Okay. So be very careful now when you go to lift these up because you don't want all the sequins jumping off your card. Probably should have done that before. Okay. And just make sure you got this. Go all the way around. We have one little piece. And then we have the big one. One more little one. Okay. So now you could, if you wanted blue in the background, you could take this card and just go over top. But I cut, well, I don't know. Should we, should we have white or should we have blue? I need your lady's help. Should we go with the white? Hmm. So we've got white underneath here on the grid pad, but we've got are brown should we do blue or should we do white hmm well you know what anybody have an idea no okay well we're gonna try white and we're gonna see what happens and if not then you know when you make this card <laughs> You can do it the other way. <laughs> okay, so now all the way around where we had our sequins, just make sure you go really nicely all the way around to make sure it's all stuck. And now we're going to take some uh, adhesive. So in this case, I'm going to use glue. And we already have a little bit of the foam strip. But because we're gluing this onto the actual front of the card, I'm just going to go all the way around. And now I'm going to put this. So it does help to stand up and look at it over top of it. Okay. Press down. All right. Da, da, da. We're going to see what it looks like. Woo! Look at that. Isn't that cool? Wow, isn't that cool? The sequins were a good idea, Leanne. That is really cute in there. Oh, look at that. Okay, so now we have some extras for another project, which is perfectly fine. And this one does not come with any sentiments, but you could choose whatever sentiment you wanted to put on there. Um, let's see, I'm thinking... Maybe we should put a grouping of some starfish instead of a sentiment. How about if we put some starfish, sand dollar? Hmm. Who's got an idea? What should we put in this corner? Anybody got an idea? Three starfish? Big little maybe pop some little starfish on this side oops 
card. Sand dollar. One sand dollar? Three sand dollars? I think I only have two. Maybe two with a starfish? Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. How about one starfish? Big and small. Or maybe put this on the bottom. Oh boy. Doesn't matter which way I do it. It doesn't look like it's right. Help. Anybody else got any ideas? Nope. What if I scatter them a little bit more? Nope. Then it doesn't look like a grouping. Three. Three starfish, somebody said. I kind of think the three starfish. Is that what we should do? Okay. Well, let's pop the big one. So we're going to use our dimensionals here. And I'm just going to put one, I think, in the middle. Because then that way I can kind of sneak my other two little ones underneath it. So did I get it in the right spot? Maybe I have to go down a little further. There, and then we'll put just a mini on these guys. So we're gonna put this one on here and this one on here. Let's see this on. I <laughs> don't know if that's looking like I wanted it to, but I think it's okay. So you can see this card now that we put all that protection around with the foam strips. It's nice and solid. I've made shaker cards before and only put it around and then it's very flimsy inside where this is nice and strong. So there we have it. Now we got to do an inside and we're almost done this beautiful sea turtle card. So I think we should do blue again, don't you think? Where's our turtle? I've lost the turtle. Nope, here he is. Okay, and our starry sky, that's the in color that we used here. So which one did we start with? We've got the solid. So that means we got to stamp off. Actually, I don't like how that is. It didn't go even enough. Stamp off. And then onto our inside. Okay. And then we're going to clean this off here again. And turn it around. And here comes the detail. Voila! So now we have the inside all done. And now we're just going to put, oops, we've got another foam strip there. Put our adhesive on. And then we have our card done. Yes, two and one, Leanne. Hmm. What does that mean? Okay, so we're going to put our adhesive here. So what do you guys think? You like the sea turtle? It's pretty cute. So we're going to put that in here, leaving a little bit of a border all the way around. And now we have some more starfish still for another project. But there we have a shaker. Isn't that ever cute? So we got these bright colored uh, turtles. And actually, they're not sliding too much, but everything, oh yeah, they are. Everything else around them is. Let's see what happens. Oh, well, now we've got a sand dollar on top of our sea turtle. It's going to take some shaking to get them off of there. That's okay. So pretty cool. Thank you, ladies, for joining. I'm 
hoping that you enjoyed seeing a sneak peek of the sea turtle. You can count on it that you're going to see more. Um, and, of course, more goodies from the new catalog. My catalogs are arriving, and so my ladies will be getting their catalog soon. So enjoy. And, oh, hi, Jenny. There you are. So there we go. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye-bye.